Hi, hello, welcome to a new video. In this video, I would like to mention uh, the, the predatory conferences and how to detect them, how to understand if they're predatory. So they approached me telling that there's a conference and then they want me to submit an abstract. And I said, okay, I submitted the abstract. And then later they asked me to pay for that, pay for the conference. And it's an online conference. I'm not sure why I have to pay, like which service I have to pay. And then I said, I cannot pay the fee. And then they told me that it, uh, we can give you a discount or something. So, and we will publish it in our journal. And I looked at their journals and I was surprised that their journal impact factor is not that bad. And they claim that the article average processing time is quite quick and our acceptance to publication time is good. Journal hash index is also high. And then I realized like uh, <clears throat> they, they claim that there's their website is indexed in Publins and uh, Google Scholar, but Publins is not, you know, not an uh, article searching website. It's not like PubMed, right? It's just uh, showing which review will review the papers. So I'm, I was surprised that Google Scholar index, and I thought it's okay if Google Scholar is visible on Google Scholar and it's a graduate journal with two, in, two hash index and I can trust. And then I opened it, and then, and I want to be sure if they really uh, indexed uh, index this journal. And then I clicked cited by 24. That can be possible. And I'm checking, but actually, only the title was indexed. So there is no way to. I can cite it, but there's no way to see the full article. So what is the point if you cannot see the full article? So I click the second one. And it was like from researchgate.net. You can see, but this is researchgate.net. So this is already a free website. So you can just publish there, not in their journal. And another one is like this. You're clicking, listening to the voice of women with a traumatic experience. So, and another thing is these studies have nothing to do with cognitive psychology. Like listening to the voices of women with a traumatic experience. Like what is this? Like. And the Journal of Psychology and Cognition, Charlie Hapto Attack, it has nothing to do with uh, psychology, right? And their authors, uh, and Journal of Ash Index actually looks like eight. Yeah, but in fact, this says six, and it's higher than it. But we don't know if they add all the, all the articles here. So, you know, there are 341 articles. But in that website, we don't know how many articles they actually accept. So you see, those articles were not indexed here. That they were not mentioned here. But they're new, but the role of assessment. So there's no, they didn't mention this, for example. It means their hash index cannot be, cannot be eight. And this is not true. And uh, you can check, there are many topics to keep the keywords. And um, and uh, they mentioned this uh, allied academies as in as in the United Kingdom, but who knows if it's it is located in the United Kingdom? And it was uh, uh, we can check um, you can check Google as allied academy academies predatory conference. So they were uh, listed as um, fraudulent corporation under the laws of Broad Carolin and then the postal address in London, United Kingdom. So there is some fake company and then you see that there are many journals. Actually, these guys are taking this job very seriously. There are like uh, almost 200, maybe more than 200 journals. How they manage it? And uh, founded in 1995. Um, so they, there are people who talk about um, this business, how to spot a fake conference. So they invite people with the fake conference. They got you your uh, your email from your if you are listed as corresponding author in one article, they find you and they send you that 
messages that they need your uh, you to speak and please send your abstract or something and then and everything about this uh, conference looks so legit so normal and uh, allied academy so it's not that bad. the design is not that bad and conferences by continents they just they make com in many countries and like probably there are lies like sponsors advertising at allied companies who knows if they are really uh, interested in so so this is what I want to say so better be careful before paying for those uh, predatory journals you can see their conferences and it can be a great business idea though and uh, anyway thanks for w watching this video I hope this uh, I hope this video can help you to understand and distinguish uh, the fake conferences and fake publishing from the legit one and thanks for watching this video bye bye